Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're going to study the area of right triangles. Here is my first example. Actually I have here a rectangle drawn and then this red line, the diagonal, makes it that I have a triangle here. Think first of the area of the rectangle. You know how to calculate the area of a rectangle, right? That is just the side times side. The area of the rectangle is therefore this area of the rectangle is 10 centimeters times 20 centimeters, which is 200 square centimeters. Remember, for area, we need to put square centimeters or square units of some sort with our answer. But what would be the area of this triangle? It's a very easy principle because it is exactly half of this number, right? So the area of the triangle here is 100 square centimeters. I wrote this principle here. The area of a right triangle is half of the area of the corresponding rectangle. When you have a right triangle, like if I sketch one here, this is a right triangle, there is always a rectangle associated with it, okay? There's always a rectangle. And you just find the area of the rectangle and take half of that. Let's find the area of this right triangle here in square units. This is not any particular unit like centimeter or inch, it is just a unit. So think of the rectangle that goes here, here, here and here. Its sides are 3 and then 5 units this way. So the area of the rectangle is 15 square units. Half of that is 7.5. So the area is 7.5 square units. You can also kind of see that by counting here. There's one, two, three, four. Okay, let me just shade these in. Here's four square units. Now this one is almost a complete square unit, but if I add this little piece, I get five square units with that. And then I can look around and this one and this one makes a sixth square unit and then this one and this one would make a seventh square unit and this one must be then the half, okay? So it makes sense. What's the area of this right triangle? Look at the rectangle first. One unit times two units rectangle here. The area of the rectangle is two square units, so the area of the triangle is one square unit. And you can see it, if, if I put this little piece over here, then it would make a one square unit. Now, this one is a compound shape. It has actually a rectangle here. Then it has two right triangles. This one here and the other one here. Can you see that? Three shapes. And I can calculate the area then, of course, adding all these parts. The area of this triangle here, first of all, it's a right triangle and the rectangle that corresponds with it is three units this way and one unit this way. Okay, three times one is three. So the area of this triangle here is one and a half units and this also is one and a half square units. One and a half square units, one and a half square units or a total of three square units. Okay, plus over here we have six. So in total, nine square units. Lastly, we're going to draw a right triangle whose area is 300 square centimeters. I'm using this big number because I have so much space here on the board. If you were doing this on paper, you want to choose a much smaller number, maybe 30 or 60 square centimeters. Can you draw several different kinds? Okay, I'm, I'm going to think through this rectangle thingy. If I get the rectangle and then I take half of that, that has to be 300 square centimeters. So my rectangle has to be 600 square centimeters. Let me write it here. Rectangle, 600 square centimeters. And the rectangle, the area of the rectangle is calculated by side times side. So side times side has to equal 600. I have to find something times something equals 600 as the two sides of the rectangle, okay? What times what would equal 600? Now I can find all kinds of numbers, so I can actually draw several different kinds of triangles too. 
For example, 10 times 60. And then there's 20 times 30. This would be centimeters, of course. And there's 15 times 40. There's 6 times 100, all kinds, okay? Let me now draw some. For example, the first one, 10 times 60, means that I would have to draw a rectangle here. Two sides, just 10 times 60. And then I draw the third side of the triangle. This ruler is exactly 60 centimeters. Now I'll draw the right angle with my protractor. Line this 90 degree line here with my line. Then over here is the 10 centimeter side. There. And then, of course, this ruler is not now long enough, but almost. Okay, that's one of those triangles. Now let's do this one. 20 times 30 centimeters. So 20 times 30. Okay. Then I'll draw my right angle here. You can see I line up this 90. And then measure 20 this way. Drawing the last side. And here was 10 centimeters and 60 centimeters. And so on. Like I said, there's an infinite number of solutions, an infinite number of triangles that have the area of 300 square centimeters. It's a nice drawing problem. I like it. I think it's very good for students.